Mark Twain once said that if the first thing you do each morning is eat a live frog, you can go through the day with the satisfaction of knowing that that is probably the worst thing that is going to happen to you all day long. Your frog is your biggest, most important task, the one you are most likely to procrastinate on. So, what can you do not to procrastinate? A major reason for procrastination and lack of motivation is confusion about what you're trying to achieve. That's why clarity is perhaps the most important concept in personal productivity. You need to know what you want to do first before you can do it. Some people want to improve themselves in all areas of their lives, but that's too vague. You need to be specific on what you want to achieve. So just better health should not be on your goal list. It's too vague. But preparing three healthy home-cooked meals, going to the gym three times a week, and sleeping eight hours every day should be on the list. Be as specific on your goals as you can be. Which brings me to my other point. Write down your goals. A goal that is not in writing is merely a wish or a fantasy. Take a sheet of paper right now and make a list of 10 goals that you want to accomplish in the next year. Review your list of goals and select the one goal that will have the greatest impact on your life if achieved. Whatever that goal is, write it on a separate sheet of paper, set a deadline, make a plan, take action on your plan, and then do something that moves you toward that goal every single day. This exercise alone will change your life. So think about your goals and review them daily. Every morning when you begin, take action on the most important goal you are working towards. Have you heard the old question? How do you eat an elephant? The answer? One bite at a time. How do you achieve your goals? The same way. You break them down into specific step-by-step activities and then you start on the first one. So make a plan. The better the plan you have, the easier it is for you to overcome procrastination. Let's say I want to run a marathon. Just thinking about it makes me tired. But let's break it down. First, I'm gonna go buy running shoes. Second, I'll get an exercise plan. And third, I'll jog three times a week while slowly building up runtime. Running a marathon seems daunting, but buying running shoes and going for a 50 minute run, mm, not so much. Begin today to plan your week in advance. Make a list of all your projects. Seeing yourself working progressively through your list motivates and energizes you. Steady, visible progress towards a goal propels you forward and helps you overcome procrastination. The hardest part of any important task is getting started on it in the first place. Once you begin working on a valuable task, you will be naturally motivated to continue. So, one of the ways to overcome this is to have everything you need at hand before you begin. This is like getting everything ready to prepare a complete meal. You set all the ingredients out on the counter and then you begin putting the meal together. So begin by clearing off your desk or workspace so that you have only one task in front of you. So emails, texts, phone calls, all distract your work. So eliminate all distractions when you have important work to do. Also, don't forget to maximize your personal powers. Your body is like a machine that uses food, water and rest to regenerate energy which you then use to accomplish important goals. When you are fully rested, you can get two, three times as much done as when you are tired or burned out. So to be productive, you have to nurture your energy levels. The more tired you are, the worse the quality of your work will be. Most people are at their best in the morning, after a good night's sleep. Another major reason for procrastination is fatigue or attempting to start a task when you are tired. You have no energy or enthusiasm. You're like a cold engine in the morning that can't get started. Whenever you feel tired and overwhelmed, stop. Just take a break and reset yourself. Get more work done the next day when you are recharged. It's better than working fatigued. So get enough quality sleep and make sure to take care of your physical health with plenty exercise. Thank you for listening. Like and subscribe. 
and don't forget to be better than yesterday. <laughs>